as good souls have a sense of forgiveness. But whether that forgiveness extends to me is a whole separate issue. So Elliot Spitzer wants to be city comptroller. Anthony Weiner wants to be mayor. Both of them have been entangled in sex scandals. Both of them think the voters of New York will forgive them. Sex scandals usually destroy political careers, but not all the time. We all remember Bill Clinton back in 1992 on 60 Minutes. But <laughs> wait a minute, you're, you're looking at two people who love each other. This is not an arrangement or an understanding. Well, Bill Clinton was President Clinton about 10 months later. It also helps to run for a safe seat. Now you think about Senator David Vitter of Louisiana. He entered the House after Bob Livingston stepped down after a sex scandal. But by 2007, Vitter, who was then a senator, ended up on a list of customers of a Washington, D.C. prostitution ring. But by the time Vitter ran for re-election in 2010, there was palpable anger in Louisiana over Obama's policies. So Vitter ran against Obama, won very easily, and there was very little talk of the sex scandal. Another lesson is, if you want to stay viable, you have to stay visible. We saw that with Newt Gingrich. He was leading the Clinton impeachment effort. Obligation to think through how do you best represent the House and how do you best represent serving the American people on behalf of your colleagues. Then it came out that he had had an affair with an intern in his office. Gingrich hasn't since been reelected to public office, but he did redeem himself. And the moment that that happened, was when he won the South Carolina presidential primary last year. So what if Elliot Spitzer does make it in New York again? What if Anthony Weiner does make it in New York again? Like Newt Gingrich, might they turn their attention to the White House? Don't be so sure. Today, I am announcing that I am running for president of the United States of America. This election is a choice between the national interest and the political establishment. My candidacy represents change and the rebirth of idealism and hope. We're going to take the fight to save the middle class all the way to the convention and the White House. 